Hi, I'm Thea Washington, and I'm a casting director, and now you're about to get to know me with Raven Paris. Hey, Thea. Hey, Raven. <laughs> so this is going to be like a game where I get to know you. So I'm going to ask you some random questions. Uh, so are you ready? I'm, I'm ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> All right. So starting out, I love asking, like, what is the newest thing you learned about yourself since this quarantine? Um, what have I learned about myself? I'm a good D DIYer. Mm -hmm. I and then when we couldn't get to the salons, the nails and things mm -hmm. like that, um, I learned that with YouTube and Google, I can get it done. Wow. So what's your favorite thing to put together? Oh, anything, anything. Like it could be anything from, um, you know, making old clothes and new hair things, just any. I, I just love it. Okay, okay. So now let's tap into some of your superpowers. If you could have a superpower, right? I had a magic wand. Bing, what would your superpower be? Um, my superpower would be reading minds. For real? Mm, I would you be too scared. Yeah. What would yours be? I'm just um. I would say my superpower would probably be, um, damn, I wish maybe that I can like make my own wishes come true. Like if that was somehow a thing. Like I was genie, like boom. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Exactly. That would be a good one. Okay. So now let's go into maybe some of like your childhood memories, right? Like, so what kind of child were you? Three words to define your childhood or you as a child. Oh, um, my childhood was amazing. Um, lots of entertainment mm -hmm. and fun. How were you as a child? Um, I think what did I, you get in trouble? Oh, uh, let me say this. What did you get in trouble for the most as a child? Oh, um, <laughs> okay. So as a child, child, I was very shy. I was just observing. Like I was just a fly on the wall because um, my parents were in the industry. So I would watch everything. Now I saw what I wanted to do and wanted to be, but I was just a little younger. So um, I got in trouble for, I really didn't get in trouble, but it's a cell phone store on Greenmount called No Limit Communications. Okay. Lied about my age so I could work there. <laughs> did you get hired i got hired uh to, shout out to theresa marable i i would like to say i'm still her best um her best employee to this day of all time. 14 years old i was you know we had the iphone um uh, no we didn't have iphones back then but we had the next tell i 1000s with the little chirp chirp <laughs> like yes i'm 16 years old i can work here and i was 14 and i had i had a workers permit so, you know, you don't have really, unless you have a driver's license, you don't really have um, ID. Mm -hmm. So that's my way in there. And that's still my girl. I love her. Wow. That's a good one. You learned to finesse the game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now let's get into more so now, like, I know you're in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Shout out to your man. Now, what are like three good um, dating tips or like places you like to go to date? Things you like to do when you go on dates? Oh, well, you know, uh, I love the boat. Uh, my boyfriend, he has a boat in Severno Park, and we love the water. So that's definitely number one. Um, when, before pre-COVID, we would go to hot yoga. Mm -hmm. um, and that was the first time I got to disconnect from my phone. Mm -hmm. You know, just be in the moment, be present, and nothing else matters. So that was great. And, you know, I'm competing with all these people. Like, mm -mm, y'all not going to outdo me. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hot yoga. And then um, pre-COVID, we love concerts, but we still love to, we have like a player that we love to play um, records on and just chill in the house and enjoy each other. I did hot yoga one time in my cousin and it was hot as hell. Okay. <laughs> like... <laughs> Hi. Now you started talking about music. Let's go into your music playlist. What is playing on Thea's music playlist right now? Okay, of course, Corday. That's okay. definitely in the mix. Um, I love Anderson Pack. Yeah. Um, anybody who knows me knows that I'm obsessed with Earth One and Fire. It's a healthy obsession. So um definitely that. 
and probably some old school rap because I don't know these new kids, but I love me some Wu-Tang, some Biggie, Jay-Z, all that stuff. But I don't know a, a baby from the baby, little baby. I don't know them. But I do like some of their beats, though. I yeah. <laughs> the baby, the baby, too many babies. Okay. <laughs> like, all right. Now let's go into some of your self-care rituals. What are some things that you like to do to just escape and take care of Thea? Hmm. I love to get, okay. I really love, um, I love a lot of things. Yeah. Um, let's my- do them. <laughs> I love um, pedicures and manicures and getting my lashes done. That's a new thing for me. But, um, you know, because you're just like chilling in this really cute place that um, everything is like all natural or whatever. Mm -hmm. So that's my time. I'm like, I can have one hour to myself to get my lashes done because I feel better. Mm -hmm. I feel like I look better, you know. So definitely those things. And I love yourself. I couldn't hear you at the very end. Oh, I'm sorry. I love to take long, hot showers. Mm. Um, I love a good shower with good pressure. Like, <laughs> I like my nice bath too. And it's crazy because I feel like as a kid, I'm like, ew, baths are gross. But like as an adult, that's my time where I get to just relax, you know? Um, now let's go into movies. I know you do a lot of casting. So what are like your favorite, three of your favorite movies that you can watch back to back to back and three of your TV shows that you can watch back to back to back? Oh my God. Oh my God. This is so hard. This is a hard question. I know. Cause this is your field. I know. <laughs> um, okay. This is bad. This is, this crime. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, cause it, it kind of transitions over time, but I would say Casino is definitely in my top. Like, I wanted to be Ginger. Like, she was so fly, the way she carried herself. I was like, that's a woman. I want to look like that. Like, she, that's a bad chick. Okay. And, um, also, it sounds really bad, but Players Club. <laughs> Players Club is classic. Bernie had some funny lines. <laughs> Listen, I love her. Like, so many celebrities in it like yeah. it was Fox and Jamie Fox it was Bernie. Lisa Ray uh, Lisa Ray of course um, I still know all the words to that and then I would say my third would probably be um, this is hard this is really hard come um, on one more alright it's a triple tie okay <laughs> it's gonna be a tie between five heartbeats set it off and streets is watching streets is watching that must have been before my time girl i used to watch it on vhs it was really before my time but it was daisy <laughs> and dame dash and they got together for the time album and basically made like a long thing like thriller and i was oh. in my my thing and watch it over and over again and i was like i want this this is just everything it was just like good bad you mm-hmm. know mm-hmm. I, now, what about your TV shows? Right now, I'm obsessed with Snowfall. I've been hearing about that. I haven't really gave it a shot yet, though. You have to watch Snowfall. Like, it is so good. It's everything you want. It's not, you know, it is so good. And I'm, I heard February 24th. I'm stuck and I'm ready. I'm, I'm- <laughs> okay. okay, those are good. So now, I know a lot of people ask you just about, like, casting, right? So what is... Three tips that you can give to any aspiring actor, actress, someone who wants to get into um, film. Um, number one, um, decide why you want to do it. Like, just ask yourself, why do I want to do it? Do I want to be really rich? Um, mm-hmm. Do I wanna do this because I love the craft, or do I want to do this because I want to be famous? Mm-hmm. Um, think of your question because a lot of times the money and the fame sometimes comes way later. Yep. Um, so you have to love doing this, you know. Um, two, you have to be disciplined and be okay with being told no. And know that rejection is nothing personal. It could be the scene is deleted. You know, they, they decided to cut the scene because we're not going to have enough time to film everything. Or, you know, um, 
we have a rapport with another actor that we want to give our opportunity to, or um, it, it could just be anything. Sometimes rejection isn't about you. Um, and then I would say the last thing would be um, consistency. You have to be consistent. You know, you have to um, show up and be more than an actor because yeah. it's not just about talent. You know, are you, oh, I don't want to, I guess I'll say a-hole. Are you an a-hole? You know, are you easy to work with? Do you show up on time? Mm-hmm. Try to throw me under the bus like I didn't tell you what to bring the set. Like, mm-hmm. you know, if you do that, you ain't going to get hired again. <laughs> Period. Those are good ones. Okay, now let's go into your journey, right? Um, Coming into it, what was some of the worst advice that was given to you? Worst advice, um, get a real job. <laughs> mm-hmm. I had a real job and I have never been so miserable. I worked at the state and that is the only place that I have gotten fired from. I was actually invited to leave. Um, so getting a real job, no, you have to do what makes you happy. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it'll come for you. Everyone can't see your vision. So mm-hmm. don't, don't expect them. It, it's not personal when they give you bad advice, you no. know? trying to do what's best they don't know what you know god told you or your your plans for your life they're not gonna get it and that's okay and so it's not always gonna come from where you think it's gonna come from so wherever it is you gotta lean into that and you know if it's if it's your mama your daddy whoever Mm -hmm. sometimes you gotta be like respectfully just shut up real quick let me do my thing (laughs) thing okay let me paint this picture so then you can get it okay um all right, now, last question. I do want to ask, like, okay, now, being in the industry, right, what has been an experience that you've had whereas though in that moment you really just wanted to give up, but you had to bounce back? Take us back to that moment. Oh, in a moment where I wanted to give up. Yeah. Every other day, girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, a moment where I wanted to give up. Okay. Mm. Was there any job where though you didn't get a certain position or a job or um, maybe someone tried to throw you under the bus? Like, you know, any type of like moment you just wanted to crumble and just keep like, I'm done. Yeah. So there is one thing I can't quite talk about that yet because I'm, you know, it's, it's been some things. But I will say um, one of my first television shows, I lived in Baltimore City. Okay. I had to drive two hours sometimes to Georgetown, mm-hmm. be on set for 15 hours sometimes and drive another two hours back. And this was five to six days a week. And I did this for nine months because wow. that, you know, I was getting jobs here and there. And mind you, I was grossly underpaid because it was my yeah. first show. And mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, I'm showing them my worth because I'm, I'm casting, I'm doing the crew production. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I'll hold the boom and do the lighting. like. Mm-hmm. I'm on all these things not knowing I'm getting played but I don't take it like that that's basically my film school and play around a set um but I did want to quit many a times especially when people are like what are you doing you're not even making money like that Mm -hmm. so um I'll say my first show which is now on I think they're on like season 14 so one yeah, I feel like we all got to get played. It's, it's a part of the interning <laughs> process of when you're trying to master your craft. It comes with it. Um, What are some things we can expect from Thea this year that you can possibly share with us? Okay, so right now I'm actually casting a few things. So I, if you guys have any uncles, mm-hmm. uh, aunties, daddies, sugar daddies, zaddies in Atlanta over the age of 40, um, please hit me up. The link is in my bio on my Instagram. We're looking Will Packer, who brought us straight out of Compton, Ready for Love, Girls Trip, all those things. He has a brand new show that's filming in Atlanta. So we're looking for a single. Over. Um, I'm also working on another show. Um, we're about to end soon, so act quick. But if there are any fine couples that are divorced, that don't hate each other, and are both single right now and want to go to an island for five months. No, 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 not five months, five weeks. Okay. And, um, it's on a major network. This is, it's a dating divorce show. We're looking for people right now, ages 26 to 40. Um, it's going to be a great show. You have to have a passport. Um, and then there is a big project coming to Baltimore, but 
Um, can't talk about it yet, but it's okay. so that we you just got follow Thea so you can find out the latest news. Tell us your social media. Oh, you can hit me on Instagram at Thea Washington Casting, and that's T H E A Washington Casting, C A S T I N G. Go ahead, follow her. I got my first little acting gig through Thea, so it's definitely um, something that she do, especially if you're like in the Baltimore area, she look out for her own. So shout out to you and thank you for just always creating a platform and opportunities for people like me. Hey, I <laughs> you, like you're doing all the things, you're not limited to one box. I feel like if I threw you in anything, you could just like excel. Like you are a... Uh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to figure it out on my way. Yeah. So I just love to see that in you. Like, that's just, just watch. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.